uh, yesterday we talked about inequalities and equations and some of the main idea type things behind that. That's what we wrote on the bottom of that page yesterday. I'm going to put up a picture of what we wrote down. Um, for those of you that don't have it, you can write it down. I'll do that here in a second. Um, but I also wanted to tell you that we're going to talk about percent bars in the video today. Um, so make sure you're paying attention to this. This will also be on your test. Remember, Friday, you're going to have your legal notes quiz. And if you're not going to be here on Friday, you need to let me know so you can go ahead and get that done beforehand. Take a look at what we wrote down at the bottom of our page because it's kind of the main topic type ideas for solving equations and inequalities. Um, hopefully you did your homework, get some more practice in on how to do this. After copying that down, you can uh, watch the rest of the video for reminders on how to do percent bars, okay? Okay, in, in 2008, a survey was performed at Longhorn, Longhorn University where they asked 360 incoming freshman students which type of chocolate they preferred. After the survey, it was discovered that someone lost some of the important information needed to complete the table. Please help the university by finding the correct information for each empty section. Now, I know that the percentage is not in the problem, but if you pay attention to the box down here, you have percents in it. And because you have percents in the graphic or the organizer here, the table, then a percent bar is a viable option for you to solve this question. Basically, the scenario has been built that you have 360 incoming freshmen and you're going to ask them what type of chocolate they like. And then you have a situation where missing information needs to be found. Well, um, there are five benchmark percents. Well, yesterday, especially on math B class, um, but these five benchmark percents are 100%. 75%, 50%, 25%, and 10%. One of the things that I like to do right off the bat is find out what 50% is. And I do that right off the bat because of how easy it is to turn 100% into 50%. Um, well, how do I know what 100% is worth? What's the number of students? What's 100% of the students? 360 incoming freshmen, that's all the students. Well, if I can take 100% and divide it by two and get 50%, then I should be able to take the value of 100%, divide it by two, and land on 50%. Well, 360 divided by two is 180. All right, so I'll put the 180 right here. All right, now I know what 50% is. I'm done with that. I'm gonna do, the, the next thing that I like to do is find out 25%. So you kind of using the same strategy here that I used on 100%, I'm gonna just use that on 50% because I know that 50% divided by two is 25%. Well, if it works down here, then it's gonna work up there. 50% is worth what? 180. 180 divided by 2 is 90. So put my 90 up here. Right, and I have finished that. Now the next thing I like to do is to take the 25 and the 50, add them together, and that will make me land on 75. I see, I'll show you what I'm talking about. 25% plus 75% Excuse me, <laughs> sorry about that. Messed up, didn't I? 25% plus 50%. These two added together is a what? It's a total of 75%, right? So 25 is worth 90, 50 is worth 180. When I add those two together, I get 270. Well, 75% is 270. Now, then I have a really easy strategy for finding out what 10% is. 
To find out what 10% is, I need to know what 100 is. If I know what 100 is, all I have to do is move that decimal one place to the left, just one hop, just one hop, and then I land behind the six. Well, that tells me what 10% is. Now, <clears throat> right off the bat, I do not have a 45. So I'm gonna put a 45 on here. I also do not have a 20. So I'm gonna put a 20% on here. All right. I need to know what these two dotted lines are. Well, 20% is very easy to find. 10% plus 10% is 20%. That's very easy. 10% is worth what? 36. 36. That adds up to be 72. So 20% is 72. Okay, 45%. Now what can I do to find 45%? For myself, I like to do this right here. To find 45%, I'm gonna take 25% and add 10% two times. 25, 35, 45. So what's 25% worth? 25% is worth 90. What's 10% worth? 36. 36 again. Well, 36 and 36, we just figured that out. That's 72. 90 plus 72 is 162. Now I have, still haven't filled in these two. Let's look at the top row of numbers. I see a 90. I see a 36. All right. All right, so keep in mind exactly how I was able to land on those percentages. It wasn't me just picking stuff and making it work. I was using percents that I already knew. When I began doing 100 divided by 2, 100% 100 was the only one that I knew. But I knew that if I took 100% and divided it by 2, I'd land on 50%. Once I found 50%, I could use 50%, cut it in half, or divide it by 2, and land on 25%. And you notice um, in the image that you're looking at right now, you see... that I wrote that down. I wrote all of it down. I wrote the 100% divided by two equals 50%. And then I put the real values in for the 100%. I do the same thing with the 50%. I do the same thing on the addition problem. I did all that stuff when I was finding out what 20% was and when I was, and when I was finding out what 45% was. So make sure you're writing that stuff down. It's gonna help you get the question right. Put the percent question down, you know, adding up the percents or multiplying or whatever it is you choose to use uh, with the percentages to land on the percent that's a, that you want. But then after you show it with the percentages, put the real numbers in there. You know, the numbers from the top of the bar. You see, I wanted to land on the 20%, so what I did was take the 10%, added it to another 10%, and I land on 20%. Then directly underneath that, I put the real values for 10% underneath it, and I added them together. Because if 10% plus 10% is 20%, then the value of 10%, which was 36, 36 plus 36, 72, that's 20%. So I found what I was looking for. And I wrote it down with the percentages first, and then I put the real values underneath it and did the exact same operation. Whatever I do to the percentages to land on what I want to land on, that's what I do to the real values.